It is a problem that seems to just keep getting worse. Cyberbullying, but this time victims say the bullies have gone too far, saying that they have a potentially deadly disease, AIDS. 24 Hour News 8's Danny Carlson joins us now with the impact that cyberbullying really has and the legal consequences police could face. Danny? Brian, we started looking into this after several women emailed us over the past week or so saying that there was a Facebook profile page out there and it had dozens of women's pictures on it saying that they all had AIDS. Now take a look at this. We've been talking to Facebook all day today over the past few hours and since we contacted them about this page, you can see they have taken that page down. It's no longer up, but one victim that we talked to today said a lot of the damage is already done. She first found out her picture was posted on a page that basically said she was a slut and spoke with 24 Hour News 8 about it as long as we kept her identity a secret. It's basically anybody could just copy your picture and put it on there. Then she found out someone had posted her picture on this Facebook page saying she has AIDS and decided she needed to speak out about the bullying. Why would somebody lie about something like that? AIDS is nothing to play about and it makes me really mad that people are going to see this and think that I have AIDS when I don't. 18 year old Jessica Berrios is a high school student and says she has no idea who could have or would have taken her profile picture without her permission and use it to say she has AIDS. I wish personally I could press charges because like they just took it too far. And Facebook agrees, emailing our station today saying the site prohibits the posting of content that bullies or harasses. And although Barrios can't press criminal charges, Cooley Law School Associate Dean Nelson Miller says this could definitely be a civil case. If it involves false allegations of uh, having uh, the AIDS disease and of sexual promiscuity, those are particularly sensitive areas. I mean, that, those are the kinds of things that can harm reputation. Miller says it's libel, and whoever's doing it could be in a lot of trouble. But but he says the only problem is you can't sue Facebook, and with an anonymous page like this one was, you have to find whoever is actually posting it. It's like a hit-and-run driver, isn't it? Same challenge. But when and if that person is found... Well, I'd retain counsel, retain a lawyer, and go sue them. The girls we spoke to say that they did report that page to Facebook several times as being inappropriate but never heard back. We asked Facebook why. They said that they would investigate and get back to us, but they haven't yet. We also talked to them today. They said that people who do create pages like that one can be warned up to their account can be terminated for creating a, a page like that one. But for privacy reasons, they do not release the names of those people without a subpoena or a court order. At the Live Desk, Danny Carlson, 24-Hour News 8.